We're heading up uh, to Lake Superior to go for some trout, uh, lake trout and brown trout trolling up there. It is end of end of November, so it's a little little chilly and snowy, but uh, it's a great time of the year to be out there out there fishing. So, well, if you're if you're prepared for the if you're prepared for the weather. Good day to test out our ice fishing suits and Lake Superior. We're gonna be fishing on Lake Superior. As you can see, the elements are not the greatest today. And that's what I want to point out. This is when we fish. Um, Paige and myself, we're both uh, fishing guides. Kyle's a professional pro angler. These are float suits. Uh, we're fishing Lake Superior today. Uh, you wouldn't fish out here unless you had these. The water temps are gonna be about 46, 47 degrees. It's gonna be snowing, it's gonna be blowing, and uh, we're gonna put these suits to a test. this guy way out there so I can put a bunch of lines on it. We are running six lines a lot of times. With that type of setup, you really need multiple people. So obviously, uh, Mike and Paige and Charlie, we're all doing kind of a, a great job to, to kind of help keep things going. So I untap that phone. So this is gonna be a splake. Oh, there you go. He's under 15. Bye-bye. Yo ho! Go ho! That's the candy of the sea right there, buddy. It doesn't seem like it's uh, necessarily needed in that yet. Do I have another line in here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is part of the program. <laughs> this is why you wear your Wind Rider gear because at any given moment, you could fall on the lake. You want to make sure you got your float suit on. What the locals tell me is when all the herring come in too. Okay. They come in here to spawn and everything else to eat them. Sure. Oh, what is that? Little brown. That's a good one. There you go, yeah. There you go. Splake? Yep. Yep. So this is a splake, but he's got his antipost. This is a stocked fish. Yeah. Huh. But during COVID, they didn't want to put the people together to clip the fins. So they just tossed them tossed in. in. So that's a COVID splake. Well, there we go. Three on. Little brown. Yep, little guy. There you go. Swing. Okay, he's a legal one. But we got fish just flopping around the boat too. So, you know, it's like, don't even have time to put them away yet. I don't know why I'm getting rods tangled up like that. It just seems to make fishing a lot slower, but. I don't know who would do that. You want to hook this for me? <laughs> we were in a video boat. We were out all day long, running from spot to spot. And so we weren't fishing as hard as our other uh, partner boat, but uh, we got a really nice big laker in our boat. There you go. Where are we? Yeah. Okay. Some pretty extreme conditions, and you can't go and do that without having good stuff like this. And I'm. I'm not chilled, I'm good, I'm good to go. We actually had a really good day. We put 31 fish in the boat and uh, we lost 14. But overall, it was a great day. Great product with Wind Rider. Um, I can't say enough about this product. Um, it allows me to come out fishing in November and be comfortable while we're doing it. 
that late fall, early winter, you know, the water's cooled down, fish have kind of moved in a little bit. Uh, so it, it just makes it a little bit easier to catch them. And, you know, once again, when there's no one else out there, sometimes it's uh, some of the best time to be fishing.